So let's take a look at how to install the alt store using a Windows PC. And if you go to a link in the description down below, you'll take it to an FAQ on altstore.io, the one that's labeled for Windows. And you can pretty much follow this step by step and you don't really have to watch this video. And there's also a nice little handy video that they've got for you too. But before you install the alt store, you're gonna need a couple of things installed on your PC. You're gonna need iTunes and iCloud, which takes me way back to the early 2000s with iTunes and iCloud. And as they are only available on the Windows Store now on Windows, you can actually get these direct download links by clicking the links here. So we want Windows 64-bit edition. I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna download iTunes for me there. And then we're also gonna click this link, which is gonna download iCloud directly as well from the Apple servers. Then click the link in the description down below that says download and download the alt server for Windows. And that's then gonna download the installer package as well. Once you've got all three of these folders, you can start by installing iTunes by double clicking on iTunes 64 setup.exe. Wait for that to install. And obviously next. Unclick these two here. So we don't want to add iTunes shortcut to the desktop and I don't want to use iTunes as a default player for audio files because that's how they get you. Click install. And just wait for iTunes to install like it's the early 2000s again. I actually don't know anyone that uses iTunes anymore, so let me know down in the comments if you use iTunes on Windows. Then click finish and it's going to open iTunes and iTunes is actually going to ask you to install iCloud if you want to, but click remind me later because we're going to do that ourselves anyway. Next, we're going to install iCloud and this is going to ask you to reset the computer, so just be wary of that. Obviously, you've got to accept that massive terms and conditions. Probably end up as a human iSenti pad at some point, but... You just accept it without reading it, everybody does. Now we just wait for that to install, and then click finish, and then it'll pop up with you must restart your configuration for changes to be to take effect. Click the S to restart now, or no if you plan to manually restart later. I'm gonna click no at the minute, but I might need to restart it to get everything set up eventually. Then the alt installer.zip file that we got earlier, I'm gonna right click on that, and then I'm gonna click extract all. Then I'm gonna extract, and that's gonna bring us with this folder here for alt installer, I'm gonna double click on that. And then the setup.exe, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna run that as the administrator. That's gonna bring up the alt server setup wizard and click next. Next again, and then next to start the installation. And once that's been installed, click close. Then you're gonna to want to click start, go to all apps, find the alt server, and click on it. And then if you click in the bottom right corner, the upper arrow that says show hidden icons, and see this little diamond here, this shows that the alt server is running. Click on it and it'll bring up a bunch of options. But before we do that, we need to set a couple of things up on the phone or iPad that we are using to access the alt server. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using my iPhone 14 Pro. I'm going to plug it into my computer. Then I'm gonna open iTunes and click continue and press trust on my iPhone and then input my passcode. Now you can see my iPhone has appeared on the left side of the screen. On iTunes, I'm gonna click this symbol next to where it says music and I'm going to choose my iPhone. So it is the 256 gig one. And then I'm gonna click sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi on and then click done and apply the changes to it. Then when I go to the bottom right corner, I'm gonna click on the bottom right corner and then I'm gonna click the diamond that is the alt store and install alt store onto Anthony's iPhone and I'm gonna choose my iPhone. Now you can use your own Apple ID and password here and I haven't heard of any issues arising with that but I do use a burner account for this. Your Apple ID does not have to match the one that is on the phone. It is just used for verification purposes. So I'm just gonna pop that in. It's gonna install the alt store onto my phone it says install succeeded. And as you can see on my phone, the alt store is installed now, but it will not run straight off the rip. I now have to activate my phone in developer mode, which is going to make the phone restart. So if I go to settings on the settings app, scroll down to the bit where it says privacy and security, press on that. And now this new section will have appeared because I've got an app that requires developer mode. So I click on developer mode and then click developer mode on. And then it says when developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Restart your device to turn on developer mode. So I'm gonna click restart. So after your phone restarts, it's gonna ask you to input your passcode to turn on developer mode. But we're still not done there because if we try to get the old store open, 
it's going to bring up this message and say that it's from an untrusted developer. So if we cancel that, we go back into the settings and then we go into general. We scroll down and we find the bit that says VPN and device management. Click on that and then the developer app, it'll have this bit here which will tell you the name of the developer which should match up to your Apple ID. Click on that and then click trust. Trust this developer. It's going to ask if you want to trust this developer. Click trust. And there you go, you've got the alt store installed on your phone using a Windows computer. And when we open the alt store, it's going to ask if it wants to send you notifications. No, I do not want to do that. And it says the alt store would like to find and connect devices on your local network. I'm going to allow that because we're going to need that when we launch Dolphin later on. 